Because I had such a difficult time learning the index match function, this is my attempt at simplifying the joint function as best as I possibly can. Before we start, let's look at our data set here. We have a list of salespeople, their January sales, and then who was the best and worst, and that was produced by an if-then statement here. Meanwhile, down here is where we're going to to look at the index match function, and we're going to try to find the worst salesperson and the best salesperson by using the index match function. But first, let's look at what each one of these functions does by itself. The index function will produce information if you tell it where in the workbook to look and how many cells down to look. So we've, if we index this column here and we tell it three, it will look down three cells and produce Rob. Likewise, if we tell it five, index this column five, it will produce Kevin. So in and of itself, it's a very weak kind of powerless function. But the beauty in it comes in that the number that you tell it to look down can come from another function and in this case that function will be match because match produces the number of cells down certain information is so say we wanted to match this column for the word worst it would produce three because it's looking down three cells to find it likewise if we told it to look to for best it would produce six so if we've indexed the names and we want to know who is the worst salesperson? We tell Excel to match this column and it's going to produce three. And then, meanwhile, the index function is going to take that three and look three down on that index and produce Rob. So maybe it will make a little more sense if we go ahead and use it in action. So let's equals index, open parentheses. The array we look at for index should always be the column of data that possesses the information we ultimately want to produce. Since we want to produce salesperson names, name, we want to index the column that has salespeople's names. Let's go ahead and lock those cells. And now the row number, as we mentioned, is going to come from the match function. So we want to start the match function here. Open parentheses. The lookup value, we want to look for the word worst. We happen to have worst written in this cell here, so we're just going to go ahead and click that cell. And the lookup array, we want to look for worst in this array here. Now let's go ahead and lock those cells. Now this last little bit of information here, the match type, for almost every case you're going to want to put zero because you want to look exactly for worst. So let's put zero for exact match. Now when we hit enter, it should look for match worst in this column which is three down in the index of this column so it's going to take that three and look down three and produce Rob and it's going to tell me I didn't put in enough parentheses here I'm going to click yes to let it just do it for me and it does in fact produce Rob now if we drag this down it's going to reference best and look up the best salesman so it should produce Laura which we see it does here now if we don't happen to have these cell references with the name we're looking up, you can also look up text by simply hitting quote, worst, quote, and enter. However, you got to be careful because now if you drag this down, it's still looking for worst. So we'd have to manually change this to best. we see Laura again. Now one of the added advantages of index match is that if you're dealing in a data set where you have to insert data or add data, it doesn't impact our results. You can add as many cells as you want and it's still gonna jump to those cell ranges that you've told it to look for. Whereas in a VLOOKUP function, which is kind of a competing function to index match, in inserting rows would completely screw up your function. Index match is also more powerful than VLOOKUP because you can look 
up stuff behind the original cell you're looking in. So if if your sole purpose was of watching this was to just learn index match simply, just ignore the last few statements that will only be beneficial to people who already know the VLOOKUP function and wanted a little more information. But hopefully this helps simplify the index match for you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helped.